Good morning, gang. Happy Saturday morning. So I thought I'd do this video because it's Saturday uh, today for a very particular reason. Saturday is usually when a lot of working families go and do their grocery shopping on Saturday morning. You get paid on Friday, you go to the grocery on Saturday morning. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask you this. We all probably have somebody in our family who questioned at one point or another all the money you're spending on food, all the stuff you're putting. The question inevitably has happened in every household, including mine. Don't we have enough? This, what I'm about to tell you here, may answer that question real quick for those skeptics in the household, whether it's your spouse, whether it's your kids, whether it's your parents, your brother, whoever the hell it would be, okay? Figures came out yesterday on a poll about food scarcity, okay? Now, we all know about inflation. We all know about the grocery stores. I don't have to beat that dead horse, okay? You guys know what's going on. And again, some of you guys have seen, or, you know, what you're telling me in the store. Stores look fine. Others are saying, okay, it looks like, you know, we're in Soviet Russia. However it takes, I'm trying to get you prepared so you can be ahead of the crowd going forward. So there was a poll that was done, and I know what you guys are going to say about polls, but again, at least listen to the numbers and take this into consideration. Where nearly three out of every 10 people in the country said the increased cost of food, sparked by inflation, has forced them to skip meals. Okay? 29.3% of the American public said last week that they or their families have skipped meals due to price increases. 32% of women said their families have skipped meals. 26% of men say their families have skipped meals. And everybody goes, well, why? What's the difference? A lot of single-parent single, single parent households out there, guys. Okay. 34% of Republicans said they've skipped meals, and 24% of Democrats skipped meals. Now, take it as a poll, okay, and how many people are going to answer the poll honestly. Some of the numbers don't make sense to me either, but overall, we're looking at, out of one out of every three families is skipping meals because of the cost of food. So... We have a war on food by the politicians. They can blame supply chain. They can blame the workers. They can blame COVID all they want. Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now: all of the problems that we have right now are directly based upon politicians' overreactions to everything. If we didn't shut down the country, maybe we wouldn't have all these short, short, you know, businesses out of business. If we didn't decide to hand people fifty thousand dollars a year in unemployment, maybe people would still be at work. Okay. If we didn't do all this goofy negotiating with uh, China and dock workers and mandates and all this sort of crazy crap, maybe maybe container ships would be getting unloaded. This is what's driving everything insane, guys. It's squarely on the shoulders of politicians. They took a little problem and made it huge, making mountains out of molehills. We've all heard that, okay? By the string of bad decisions out of both parties, in the last two years, we've got catastrophic food problems in the country, all right? One out of every eight families in the United States is on food stamps. 39 million families, okay, on food stamps. Now, how many people that all adds up to? I don't know, but 39 million families. That's insane. Now, where I say that you have problems and a war on food because of politicians, 
Here's the latest one. The Biden administration is now pushing in their Green New Deal to increase the amount of renewable fuel. Okay, We don't want to use petroleum-based oil. We want to use biodiesel or whatever it would be. So the president of Ag Resource okay, said that what Biden wants to do would trigger a use in biofuels. Okay, of course, you know, car companies, hey, the, you're going to you're going to get subsidies for creating more E85 vehicles or whatever it would be. But here's the problem. We have a food issue. Where does biofuel come from? Primarily corn and soybeans. Now, when you have all these farmers being paid by the Department of Agriculture to plow their fields under, because the Department of Agriculture gives them more money to not farm it than to sell the vegetables that they grow. Okay, Farmers got to keep the farm going. If somebody's going to give you a dollar not to work it, but you'd make 75 cents if you do work it. You got to keep your farm because farmers don't, don't usually get rich. Let's put it that way. Uh, you know, they need to be making money on that farm to pay off notes, pay off the land, et cetera, et cetera, all the time. So, you know, if they're making more money, they're going to do what it is. So now, instead of growing tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, whatever it is, under this program, by Biden wanting more biofuel, a lot of farmers are going to inevitably switch to growing corn and soybeans because it's a higher profit crop for them. And I don't blame farmers whatsoever for growing what's going to make them the most money. The problem is, and this is what Ag Resource uh, Company came out with, we need to convert, get this, 40 million acres of farmland from food production to corn and soybean biofuel production to meet what Biden wants. You want to know how big 40 million is? The state of Utah is 57 million acres. You're talking taking 80% of this of the state of Utah. Go look at a map how big Utah is. I will tell you this. It takes about eight hours to drive from the, the Idaho border down to the Arizona border. Okay? 40 million acres taken out of food production and put into fuel production. When we already have one in three people skipping meals and one in eight families on food stamps. I tell you guys all the time, grow something, grow a garden, whatever. Because what's this going to do? Supply and demand again. The supply of food is going to come down. The demand was going to stay the same. So the prices are going to continue to go up. When you hear the question, don't you have enough? The answer every time is Hell no. I got to grow more. I got to can more. I got to buy more because the government, with their foolish ideas, is literally trying to starve us out. And if you think of this, look out in your driveway and tell me what your car, your truck runs on. And I'll bet 98% of the people watching this, it's on gasoline not E85. So guess what? If this all goes down, that means you got to go buy a new car. Gee, anybody else got 70 grand to go buy a new car? I don't. Okay. Stock the food, stock the fuel, do whatever you can. This is another reason why you have to prep. They are stopping food production. They are trying to reduce food production when we are in a food crisis. There is a war on food. That 
will cause utter chaos. Because as I've said many times, we are nine meals away from literally war. Keep stocking. Go to the store. Buy today. Get as much as you can. Find a space under the couch, under the bed, under the sink, wherever would be. Okay? Anything extra you can get is going to serve you well in the future. Please go for it. In case you all didn't see yesterday afternoon's video, obviously you noticed we are back on pinball preparedness. Uh, just a reminder for those of you that don't know, I always have a video up in the morning. Okay, a lot of you guys asked here over the last week or so where I, where I was. Okay, the backup channel is pinball prepping here on YouTube. When I get a strike, and you know I'm going to get another one one of these days. Okay, and all of a sudden I'm not here in the morning. You're going to find me over on pinball prepping. Okay, so. If you want to keep listening, because I can't tell you when I get a strike. It just happens and poof, you're in jail. Just know I'll be over there. Put the notifications on, on that channel and that way you won't miss me. Have a good Saturday. Go to the grocery store. I know I will be good doing that today and adding more to my stock. Have a good one. Pinball out.